Hi everyone, it's Brittany here, and I have a mini album I want to share with you guys. Um, first, I used Distress Ink and Antique Linen, and I went around all of the pages with that, and it's a really light color, but it looks nice. And then I used this paper pad, it's um, by KI, and it's Metro Garden, and I think I got this at Walmart, and it was just because of like the more neutral colors, and there's just so much you can do with these papers. So I um, used that. And then for my seam binding, I used these Glimmer Mist. And this one is Moss Green. And this one here is Dragonfly. And this blue was really too bright. So I went in with some woven burlap to kind of try and dye it, tone it down a little bit. But it still is kind of bright, but it looks good. Um, and then on the front here... I used this stamp, and I believe it's from Inka Dinka Doo, but I don't have the packaging anymore. Um, and then I just embossed that with some silver embossing powder. And I used some Wild Orchid Craft Flowers on the front here. And I didn't color these or anything like that. These were just the colors that came. And then here is the seam binding that I colored. And then I did do one white, um, since the borders around all the pages are white. I just tied it in... A bow up here and then I have the charm and it's not it's kind of a chunky charm but it's like not very chunky um, so I did just some beads to match the colors and then there's a key here this is from um, seven gypsies and it's not focusing very well but it's kind of a tiny key but I thought it looked cute I love keys so it's not focusing sorry and then I used um, this leaf um, charm here, which I got from Lori Gooch in our swap. So I used those, and that's the front. And then um, here's my front page, and this one's just blank. And then on this page here, I used these dies throughout. Um, the Nesting Frame 10 from Quick, Quick Cuts. So I used some of these throughout, um, just for photo mats. And then I used some Prima flowers with some different brads all throughout as well. And here is the photo mat for this one. And on all of the KI paper, one side, I think all of them, um, for this stack anyways, one side has pattern and the other side is a coordinating solid. So I kind of tried to use those throughout. Um, so here's that paper, and then this one is a half page, and again I just used my die there, and I used a little bit of crochet trim down here with another flower and a brad, and then here's this photo mat. And the opposite, oops, there's that page, and I did leave this one kind of blank, I plan on putting this in my craft show, so... Um, that way, you know, there, it's not so intimidating. Um, so here's another photo mat, and then I just did a little bit more of the crochet trim with a flower. And then up here I left blank. And these pull out. And then here's this one. And those are, um, like the other way, half pages. And there's those. And then over here I did a couple more flowers. And this one. That flower looks really aqua there. It's a lot. It's not very bright. It looks brighter in the camera, but it's not that bright. And then on this page here I just used um, the photo mat again. And then another flower with a brad and some crochet trim. And here's another 6x6 six six page. And a photo mat. Sorry guys. <laughs> and then over here I use this paper. I really like this paper. And on this side I did a couple more flowers. And on this one is blank. And these pull out as well. And there's that one. And then this is the back cover, and I just used um, 
the dye and left a photo mat. And I still might add a couple flowers. It kind of looks plain, but that is my mini album. Here is the back. And it's just like the brown and cream chevron in the side and the front. So that is my mini album. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will be back on later.